nouns. I'm so happy today. I really wanted to visit the zoo. Thanks, mother and father, for this visit to the zoo. I want to see the lion. Lion scare me. I want to see cute little rabbits. I want to feed peanuts and bananas to the monkey. You don't have permission to do that in a zoo. Can we take pictures? Yes, we can. In the conversation, the family use names for person, animal, place, thing, or idea. The word zoo, mother, father, lion, rabbits, peanuts, bananas, monkeys, permission. Pictures are examples of nouns. Definition Nouns are words that refer to a person, animal, place, object or concept. Let us look at a few sentences. Swati cooks very tasty food. The dog is barking loudly. We respect his honesty. In the first sentence, Swati and food are nouns as they denote a person and a thing respectively. In the second sentence, dog is noun as it is the name of an animal. In the third sentence, honesty is noun as it denotes a quality. Here is a list of some nouns. Person, uncle, friend, brother, animal, dear. Snake, beer, place, town, playground, colony, object, bottle, chair, camera, concept, bravery, excellence, happiness. Common nouns Isn't it too hot these days? Yes, it is. All due to global warming. We are destroying our own planet. We need to do something about this global warming. I know. We need to write to the government. We can also write to a newspaper to create awareness. We can also involve a few more friends. Yes, we can begin with using our air conditioners less and motivating our friends to do so too. In the meantime, we can have ice cream to beat the heat. The girls speak about many general things and concept in their conversation. The words planet, government, newspaper, friends, air conditioners, ice cream are examples of common nouns. Definition A noun that is not specific but denotes any general person, animal, place or thing is known as common noun. Let us look at a few sentences. She has a dog for a pet. My cousin gifted me a book. I watched a movie yesterday. In the first sentence, dog and pet are common nouns as they refer to a general class. In the next sentence, cousin and book are common nouns as they do not refer to any specific person or thing. In the third sentence, Movie is collective noun as it does not speak of any particular movie. Here is a list of some common nouns. Person, brother, teacher, sister, mother, animal, fish, lion, cat, elephant, thing, television, furniture, pencil, watch. Proper nouns. Isn't the market too crowded today, Himani? Yes, it is. Let us have lunch at Ritz Restaurant after shopping. The restaurant remains closed on Tuesday. It is very hot. Let us have a Pepsi. Yes, that will be refreshing. I wish we were in a hill station like Nanital. Just what I was thinking. I hate the month of June. In the conversation, the friends have used proper nouns referring to a particular place, person, brand, month and day of the week. 
all these proper nouns have been capitalized. The words Himani, Ritz, Tuesday, Pepsi, Nanital, June are examples of proper nouns. Definition Any noun that is the name of a specific person, place, animal or thing is known as proper noun. A proper noun always begins with a capital letter. Let us look at a few sentences. Rajat is going to Mumbai. My dog Jerry likes to eat pedigree pet food. Taj Mahal is a symbol of love. In the first sentence, Rajat and Mumbai are proper nouns as they are specific names of a person and place respectively. In the next sentence, Jerry and pedigree are proper nouns as these refer to the name of a particular dog and a particular brand of dog food. In the third sentence, Taj Mahal is proper noun as it is name of a specific monument. Here is a list of some proper nouns. Person, Amar, David, Rubina. Places, Kanpur, New York, India. Brand names, Coke, Quality Walls, Peter England, Days or Months, Tuesday, February, December. Singular Nouns I went to the library today. Which book did you read there? I was looking for a particular book but could not find it. So the librarian gave me a catalogue. Were you able to find the book easily in the catalogue? No, I was searching in the wrong section. I did not know that it was an autobiography. How did you find it then? A friend of mine helped me. I got the book number and found the shelf on which it was kept. Sejal and Ravi have spoken about a single thing, place or person several times in their conversation. The words library, book, librarian, catalogue, section, autobiography, friend, number, shelf are examples of singular nouns. Definition A noun that tells us about only one thing, person, animal or place is called a singular noun. Let us look at a few sentences. There is a blanket on the bed. I'm going to meet my teacher. Ritu went to office yesterday. In the first sentence, the things blanket and bed are singular nouns as they are only one in number. In the next sentence, teacher is singular noun as he or she is also one in number. In the third sentence, office is a singular noun as it is only one. Here is a list of some singular nouns. Person, plumber, carpenter, professor, patient, supervisor. Place, house, clinic, hostel, restaurant, school, animal, dog, elephant, wolf, snake, parrot, thing, blade, Pencil, train, star, sheet. Plural nouns. Marisa, could you please lend me your science notes? Sure. Thanks. By the way, what is the geography project about? In the project, we have to show the phases of moon and make a model of any three mountain peaks. We could work on these projects together. I have many books about mountains. Yes, that would be great. Work becomes more interesting if you study with your friends. Yes, but will we have to make two models or one? I'm not sure. Different teachers have different rules. 
we can ask our teachers tomorrow before the summer holidays begin the girls speak about more than one thing place or person several times in their conversation the word notes faces peaks projects books mountains friends models teachers rules holidays are examples of plural nouns definition a noun that tells us about more than one thing person animal or place is called a plural noun let us look at a few sentences there are many cars on the road many patients are waiting for the doctor hyderabad and secunderabad are twin cities in the first sentence cars is plural noun as they are more than one in number in the next sentence patients is plural noun as they are more than one in number in the third sentence cities is plural noun as they are more than one in number here is a list of some plural nouns person plumbers carpenters professors patients supervisors place houses clinics hostels restaurants schools animal dogs elephants wolves snakes parrots thing blades pencils trains stars sheets collective nouns Hi Riley, you know I went for a jungle safari last month. How did you go there? My whole family went in a fleet of cars. What did you see in the jungle? I saw a flock of rare birds on a tree and a pride of lions. As we went deeper into the jungle, I saw a pack of wolves feasting on a deer. I also saw a bunch of flowers and a swamp. of honey bees surrounding it you must have enjoyed a lot yes in the evening there was a bonfire a troop of dancers and a choir of singers entertained us next time we'll go together i hope we see a sloth of bears the girl and the boy have used collective nouns to speak about a group of things and animals using one word to categorize these groups the words fleet flock pride pack bunch swarm troop coir sloth are examples of collective nouns definition a noun that denotes an entire group of things persons or animals is known as collective noun Let us look at a few sentences. She has a wad of notes in her pocket. My favorite band of musicians will be performing in the auditorium tomorrow. There was an army of ants in my kitchen. In the first sentence, wad is collective noun as it tells us about a number of notes taken together. In the next sentence, band is collective noun as it tells us about a number of musicians performing together in the third sentence army is collective noun as it tells us about a number of ants collectively here is a list of some collective nouns person class of students board of directors gang of thieves animal litter of puppies murder of crows school of fish thing pack of cards pair of shoes range of mountains masculine and feminine nouns my uncle and aunt are coming from london tomorrow that's wonderful you will have lots of fun how many children do they have they have a son and a daughter 
So, your mother, father, sister and brother all must be excited. They sure are. Even my grandfather and grandmother are coming from Agra. Hope you have a fantastic time. I will come to meet your relatives too. Please do come. You can also bring your little nephew and niece with you. In the dialogues, the boys used different words to denote males and females. In the words uncle, aunt, son, daughter, mother, father, sister, brother, grandfather, grandmother, nephew and niece are examples of masculine and feminine nouns. Definition Words that are used to denote all males both in humans and animals are known as masculine nouns. Words that are used to denote all females both in humans and animals are known as feminine nouns. Let us look at few sentences. A man and a woman were walking down the street. The bride and the bridegroom looked very happy. The lion and the lioness protected their cubs fiercely. In the first sentence, man is masculine noun as it represents a male and a woman is feminine noun as it represents a female. In the next sentence, bride is feminine being female and bridegroom is masculine being male. In the third sentence, lion is male and so masculine noun while lioness is female and so feminine noun. Here is a list of some masculine and feminine nouns. Masculine Waiter Prince Stallion Buck Feminine Waitress Princess Mare Doe